So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 27 from the May June 2020 um, International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 2 from the 0580 specification. This question here is the last question on the paper. It is about, it seems, 3D trigonometry. You've got this cuboid um, with the dimensions given. It says AB is equal to 8, AD is 6, and HD is also 6. It says calculate the angle HAF. Now HA seems to be a diagonal going across one side, and HF a diagonal going through across another side, and AF along the third side of this cuboid. And you've got to find the angle between this line HA and AF. It's kind of like three-dimensional. Okay, so for me to find this angle, basically what we have, if we look at this, if we consider this triangle that we have, we have a triangle that looks like this. That's HF, that's HA, okay, that's HA, and let's have a look. That's HA, that's 6 and 6, that's, that's 6 and 8, and that's 6 and 8. So it looks like these two sides will be the same length. Okay, I think it's going to be like an isosceles triangle because these diagonals, it's going to be something like this, not drawn very well, but this is H, this is F, and this is A. We have to find this angle here. This side and this side seem to be the same length because they're both diagonals of the same dimension, um, you know, uh, basically a rectangle, because this is 8 by 6, and here we have, this is also 8 by 6, so these diagonals will be the same length. Right, so if you can find the length of these three diagonals, AH, HF, and FA, I can find um, this, this angle HAF, okay, I can find this angle HAF, and I could actually find it... Um, yeah, using the cosine rule. I could you find it another way as well, actually, but uh, I think the cosine rule will probably be easiest. Let me just make this a bit more realistic looking, make it look like an isosceles triangle. Okay, so what, what our objective is, is to find now the um, lengths of these three sides. Okay, now let's consider the length of these three sides. So let's consider, for example, um, AH. If I'm looking at this cuboid from this direction I will see a right angle triangle in front of me which will have the two um, sides here which are perpendicular to the six and six and the hypotenuse the diagonal here would be a h which we're trying to find so let me just draw a triangle that looks like that let me draw a triangle let me do it by um, using some lines so I'll have six and six and this is the length that we're looking for Okay, that's what I'll see if I'm looking at this triangle from this way. I'll have HDA, so I'll have here HDA. This is a right angle, this is 6 centimeters, this is 6 centimeters. So we can say AH using Pythagoras is going to be the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared, which is the square root of 72. Okay, we can write it in, in its more, um, we can say the square root of 72 which gives us 6 root 2. We can write it like this if you want, 6 times root 2. So this is 6 times root 2, that's AH. All right, so I've found now this, um, this is 6 times root 2 centimeters. Now, if I find AF, it's the same length as HF. Why? Because if I think about looking at this from the front of the diagram, I'll see this right angle triangle in front of me that looks like this. That's a right angle. This is 8 and that is 6. So I'll see a right angle triangle that looks something like this in front of me. Um, yeah, so in this case, the length is slightly longer than the height. That's 8 and that's 6. So it'll be something like this. So you have a right angle, and that will be basically A, B, F. A, B, F. And that's 6 and that's 8 centimeters, as we can see. That's 6 and that's 8. So the length AF is going to be also found by Pythagoras. The square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared. 
which actually gives us a square root of 100 because that's 64 plus 36 which is equal to 10 centimeters so af is 10 centimeters okay so that is the length from there to there that's 10 centimeters and as this also is a is the same triangle this is basically the same dimensions this is a right angle this is eight this is six so you'll see a triangle that looks exactly like this that's h that's f that's e that's eight that's six so this is also going to be 10 so this is also 10 centimeters so if i take this triangle that we've just formed here and i'll just make a little i'll make a little um i'll just take it like that so that i can don't have to draw it again so i'm going to put that over here it's a bit big let me make it smaller there okay so this is the triangle we've just formed now we just worked out those lengths um, I need to find this angle here let me call it angle theta all right so I have these three lengths and um, I can use the cosine rule quite easily to find this angle I can find uh, in other ways as well but I'll use the cosine rule I know that the cosine of this angle is given by now remember the formula for cosine rule is cosine of the angle a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc where a is opposite the angle we're trying to find so a is opposite the angle we're trying to find so 10 is our a and b and c are the two sides that make the angle so you're going to have 6 root 2 squared plus 10 squared minus 10 squared over 2 times 6 root 2 times 10. So theta is going to be inverse cosine of all that. So if I just, I can just put this all in my calculator. I can put inverse cosine of, in brackets, um, I'll put another bracket here. No, I don't need another bracket actually. Say 6, actually I do need a bracket here. I'll put um, 6 root 2 all squared which is going to give me 70 it's going to give me 72 okay that's going to give me 72 because this was root 72 okay so that's um plus one plus 10 squared minus 10 squared which is going to basically going to give you uh, you know they're going to cancel each other out you got plus 10 squared and then minus 10 squared so that that will leave us just basically with six root two on the top underneath uh, you'll have two times 10 which is i'll just write it out two times six root two six root two times make sure it's outside the root 10 okay so that is what i'm going to put into my inverse cosine i'm in degree mode my angle is going to come out as a degrees and that will give me 64.8959 64.8959 now we're supposed to round this if it's not mentioned or not given to one decimal place so that's 64.9 degrees and there's the answer to question number 27 which is the last question on this paper um, other questions from this paper um, can be found in the playlist that should be in this area once you finish um, watching the video and at the end of this and the end, end of the video at the end over here you'll see questions dealing with trigonometry okay and maybe if i make an, an extra playlist about 3d trigonometry i will put place that over here eventually and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon.